Hello YouTube. I think we can all agree that 2020 was not what any of us were expecting, but for me it has been one hell of a great year. I've gotten back into stock market investing, created this YouTube channel which is helping a lot of people, and my stock portfolios are on fire. One of my biggest accomplishments this year is my shared online portfolio, which I started at 66,000 and it is now $100,112. In just four months, this portfolio is up 52%, which is over $34,000. This portfolio is my Roth IRA and I'm taking it to 2.6 million tax-free dollars. And the reason I chose this as one of my biggest accomplishments is because of how many people are modeling my portfolio and getting great results. Today's success story is from Peggy Ann. I promise this is the last time I will say the word Roth this year, but my Jerry copied Roth is up 11% from December 8th. Woohoo! To give you some perspective, this is more than my financial advisor grew my whole portfolio last year till I said, Mr. Expert Broker, you're fired. Peggy just opened a Roth IRA in the beginning of December and Peggy and I both know that these are life-changing results and I'm happy that I contributed to her success. If you were interested in joining my Patreon, check out my Patreon benefits video, which covers everything from my shared online portfolio to my daily hot stocks list. The link to the video is down below. And today's 10 high growth stocks are some of the best performers I currently own own, and I'm looking to buy more because I just put another 100,000 into one of my retirement portfolios. Let's take a look at how these 10 stocks have been performing. Year-to-date stock gain, 540%. The return over one week, 8%. Return over one month, 32%. Return over three months, 120%. The return over six months is 282%. And the return over one year is 530%, with the two-year return being 1,565%. Hot damn. Have you ever heard the expression, show me your friends and I'll show you your future? For long-term investing, I think the same can be said. Show me your stocks and I'll show you your future, which is why I'm always interested in a stock's performance history. When you look at the stock history for these stocks, would you agree that if you owned all of these stocks over the last three or six months that you would be doing well? Hopefully, you get the point I'm trying to make because a lot of people are buying stocks that are going the wrong direction. I focus on buying stocks going in the right direction like these. It's a huge difference. Well, grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's dive into the Beast Mode Stock Analysis for some side-by-side -side comparisons. Welcome to Beast Mode Stock Analysis. Today we're looking at 10 high growth stocks for 2021. We've got Digital Turbine, ticker APPS, Celsius Holdings, CELH. We have ARK Invest, ARKG, which is the genomic ETF. We have Plug Power, ticker PLUG, Enphase Energy, ENPH, Sun Power, ticker SPWR, AHCO, which is Adopt Health, Grow Generation, ticker GRWG, ARKK, and TAN, which is another clean energy ETF. All right, let's take a look at the year-to-date stock gains, and we can see APPS is up 721%, Celsius Holdings 814%, and our winner on the day is Plug at 1,025%, which is absolutely insane. And let's see, our weakest one for the year is the ARKK ETF at 165%, but I'll be honest with you, if I've got a stock or an ETF that gets 165% in a year, I am really a happy guy. I really like to look at the return over three months because that tells me a lot about the current trend, and our winner in that department is going to be Plug at 205%, but all told, these stocks are up an average of 120% over the last three months. So these stocks are just killing it, and then you can also look at the return over two years, and all of them are doing extremely well over that time frame, with the one exception of AHCO, and that's because they weren't around two years ago. Our first section today is the earnings and growth, and this tells us whether or not the companies are making money. And I love to look at the P.E. ratio, and we can see that five of them are orange, which means that five of these companies are making money. But I consider all of these high growth stocks because their P.E. ratio is over 100 or negative. And we do have a couple of ETFs, and those have a zero P.E. ratio because ETFs don't get a P.E. ratio. You'll also notice that the beast mode is color coded, blue being the most important, followed by green and then tan. And our first one that I really want to pay attention to is the revenue growth. And and that's because if I've got a growth stock, the most important thing to me is that it's growing its revenue. If it's not, well, it's really not the type of stocks that I typically go for. And here we can see our strongest one on the day is Grow Generation, GRWG, at 147%. And then the next thing I want to look at is what's the forecast for the next year? Same thing. I want to see those growing. And we can see that GRWG is doing really well, 147% this year and expected to grow another 138% next year. We can also look at Digital Turbine 
line, APPS, and their PE ratio is coming down, which I like. Their revenue growth last year was 69%, and next year it's going to be 100%. So they're growing their revenue even more next year than they did this year, and that's something that I like to see as well. If we look at plug, we can see that the opposite is true. Their revenue growth in the last year was 55%, but next year they're only going to be growing it at 28% more. Still, that's a good number, but anytime we can keep those numbers growing even bigger, well, it's a really big plus for the stock. This is definitely something that wouldn't hold me back from buying plug. It's just not as promising as a company like APPS, where the revenue growth was off the hook this year, and it's going to be even better next year. Hope that makes sense to you guys. And the last thing we want to talk about is the levered free cash flow, and this measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations. I love for this number to be black, and that's because it means that the company is making enough money to run its business and grow it based on its current income levels. So this number is huge to me, and that's why we've got like APPS, they're coming in at 20.58%, which is great. Celsius Holding, they're at 4.53%, so it's positive. That's good. The ETFs, they're not going to have any of these metrics on it, so that doesn't affect us. And if we look at Plug, we can see that their levered free cash flow is negative 61%, and that just means they need to get their money to run their business from outside sources. So either they need to sell stock, they need to take on loans, or something of that nature, and that's something that we take into consideration. It's very common for growth stocks, but again, if I have my choice between a stock like Plug, and they're at negative 61%, and I compare that to APPS, who's at 21%, well, APPS looks stronger to me on that basis. The financials tell us whether or not a company is running on a good margin, and the operating margin, the S&P 500 average is 10.8%, so generally I like to look for higher operating margins than that whenever possible. We can see that APPS is doing very well at 14.5%, Enphase Energy is killing it at 21.2%, and you can see where the rest of them come in. And on a growth stock, it's okay if they're negative because they're trying to transition towards being a functional stock and making money. So it's just one thing that we look at among many. The balance sheet tells us whether or not a company is financially stable, and I like to look at the tattle ratio, which is the total assets versus total liabilities. In a perfect world, I like that to be coming in at two or higher. And if we take Digital Turbine as an example, we can see they have $209 million in assets, and their total liabilities are $113 million, giving them a tattle ratio of 1.8. If we look at SunPower, we can see they're in the red, and it's pretty much a wash because their total assets are $1.449 billion, and their total liabilities are $1.456 billion. So I'd like to see it higher, but that's it's not going to stop me from investing in that company. And then our strongest on the day by far is GRWG at 5.092. Our next section is profitability and the net income margin is what we want to look at here. The higher, the better. And our winner on the day is Enphase Energy at 24.69%. And we've got four other companies that have positive net income margins. So they're profitable, which is a good thing. And the three with zeros, those are ETFs. So that's completely okay for that. And then we've got Plug. They're still bringing up the rear at negative 33.75% and they will get closer to profitable as the company seasons and grows. We're now moving into phase two of the beast mode stock analysis where we look at valuations, price targets, and analyst sentiment. And everything here is subjective. We've got the estimated intrinsic value that you can look at. And then we also jump down to the analyst target mean price. And anytime that number is in purple, it means the current price is lower than the analyst target mean price or estimated intrinsic value if we had one that was in purple. So if we look at AHCO, they're currently trading at 37.93 and the analyst target mean price is 43.06, giving us an annual upside percentage of 10.6. The analyst recommendations are fun to look at, and our top one is the number of buy recommendations, and our winner on this one is AHCO with seven buy recommendations. And I love to look at the percentage of buy recommendations, and we can see that 100% of the analysts are recommending it as a buy for AHCO. By comparison, we can only see that 10% of the analysts are recommending SPWR that are covering it. And if you look back at the Beast Mode spreadsheet, you'll remember that SunPower is the one that had the worst when it came to net income margin, operating margin, and the cattle ratio. So it's Kind of interesting to see a side-by-side -side comparison. We can also see that grow generation is coming in very well with 100% buy recommendation. And then we've got plug power coming in at 86%. Then our last stop on the day will be the Piotrowski score. And this helps to find companies with healthy liquid balance sheets, profitability, and operating efficiency. Here we want to have that number coming in ideally at five or higher. And our weakest one on the day is going to be plug with a three. Our strongest is going to be GRWG at a seven. And the ETFs, they do not get a Piotrowski score. So that zero is okay. Let's jump into the Webull charts, and if you're not using Webull, you should be. Their charts are free, plus you get four free stocks worth up to $1,600 each just for signing up when you use the link below.
We're going to go through these charts pretty quick today because all 10 of these stocks have been high flyers with phenomenal growth in the last year. We're starting off with APPS, which is Digital Turbine. They're currently trading at 58.58. And our lines, the blue is the 20-day moving average, the red is the 50, and the white is the 200. And if you want to set up charts exactly like this, then check me out on YouTube because I've got a tutorial for Webull on this exact thing. Okay, first off, the 20-day moving average, we'll see that the stocks come. They trade right along that 20-day moving average. They come down, touch, and go back up. Occasionally, they hit the 50 and they go back up. And this is what I call a good looking, healthy chart. These are what I call railroad tracks because they, well, resemble railroad tracks. And this also shows that we are in an upward trend. And anytime it comes down and bounces off that 20 day moving average, I consider that a buying opportunity. And this is what I would call too much, too fast, where it moves away from that 20 day moving average. And now I would look for consolidation where it goes sideways like it did here or comes back down and bounces off that 20 day moving average for a buy signal. And this is APPS. Our second stock is Celsius Holdings, C-E-L-H, a very similar chart. They went sideways for a little while here, and then they've taken off on a really nice run here. Looking great, looking healthy, and this is a company that I love, and I'll tell you more about these guys in the top tips section. Next, we've got ARKG, which is the ARK Genomic Revolution ETF. This is one of my favorites from Kathy Wood, and it's also one of her favorites for where she thinks the biggest gains are going to come over the next five years. And if Kathy talks, I pay attention. Nice upward trend here. Recently hit an all-time high at 108.14, looking good and healthy. Number four is Plug Power. Same story. Recent nice upward trend, still only $37.11. And this is a nice, healthy stock as well. We've got Enphase Energy. Uh, gosh, man, all of these are my favorites. I guess that's that's why I own so much of them. And another nice upward trend. Number six is Sun Power. Same story. I mean, all of these stocks are it's just like deja vu when you look at each of the charts. You know, so we're really getting spoiled here. AHCO, same story. GRWG, Grow Generation. And these guys have really taken off. I consider this a great play in their sector. And I own quite a bit of this one as well. Recent high of 43.14. And if it comes down and bounces off of that 20-day moving average like this, that's when I'd be looking to buy even more of it. Our ninth stock is ARKK, another great one from ARK Invest and Kathy Wood. And our next one is TAN, which is the Invesco Solar ETF. And this is another winner that I've been holding for some time and it's treating me very well. Here are my three top picks. And if you appreciate my YouTube videos, be sure to subscribe and give my channel some YouTube love. My number three pick is ARKG. This is the ARK Invest Genomic ETF. And my regulars know I'm a big fan of Kathy Wood and ETFs. Genomic research is changing modern day medicine and Kathy expects the biggest gains over the next five years to come from this sector. My number two pick is Celsius Holdings. Year to date, they are up 814 and their revenue growth was 81% this year and is expected to grow another 72% next year. And my number one pick is Digital Turbine. Year to date, they are up 722% and their revenue growth was 70% this year and is expected to grow another 100% next year. And even though I've given you my top three picks, all 10 of these are awesome stocks with impressive gains. If you pick any of them, I think you will make money. And I'm also expecting some huge gains from a lot of other stocks, including NEO. Our question of the day is, what is the return on invested capital? Return on invested capital or ROIC measures a company's ability to create value for all of its stakeholders. ROIC is a calculation used to assess a company's efficiency at allocating the capital under its control to profitable investments. The return on invested capital gives a sense of how well a company is using its money to generate returns. For example, the company with the best ROIC from today's stocks is Digital Turbine. This is also one of the bonus metrics we use in the Beast Mode spreadsheets. As the entrepreneur abroad, I like to include a few travel picks and today's are from the motorcycle trip I did in Vietnam. I'll probably show Vietnam a few more times because it is such a wonderful country. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you'd like to get a copy of the Beast Mode spreadsheet and receive my hot stock lists and buy signals, then be sure to join my Patreon family. Peace and I'll see you soon.